Hi Kidventure, Miss Krista here. I hope you're having a really great Sunday so far. Boy, can you believe it? We finished school at home, we did it. Or maybe a couple have a few more days left, but hopefully you finish strong this week. I really hope you guys are doing well. Just know that we love you so much. We miss you and we're praying for you all the time. We cannot wait to be back in the building, jumping and playing and singing songs with you in person. Hope everything is great. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye guys. missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, 
a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard. Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard. It's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Follow me through. Hoo. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. We are so special to God that he loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. You know what? I can still love Pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Sing. Thank you, God, for everything. I wanna clap my hands. I wanna jump and dance. I'm gonna shout and sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for everything you've done for me. I just wanna shout and sing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for everything you've done for me. I just wanna shout and sing.
wanna clap my hands, I wanna jump and dance, I'm gonna shout and sing, thank you God for everything. I wanna clap my hands, I wanna jump and dance, I'm gonna shout and sing, thank you God for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you God for everything you've done for me. I just wanna shout and sing, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for everything you've done for me. I just wanna shout and sing, oh, 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 thank you, oh, 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 thank you, oh, 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 thank you, thank you, God. It makes me wanna wanna move my feet. always start things like this. I don't know why. Hey, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're going to get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom! We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom! Puppet Head Theater. Triple boom! And... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh... Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? Uh... <laughs> what was it that time? Uh... Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. Oh yeah? What's happening? Uh... I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, but people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Uh... <sighs> you're right, let's call it a day. No, no, you're right. We have got to keep going. Just. Don't ask any questions. I'll try. Mm. 
Why was it? Nope. Not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. pull on in. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there we some. go. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me, I'm very excited. Uh-huh, so who are you? We, we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good, yeah, uh, so my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. Uh, did you go first, Brandon? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Viscous, mm. do you have what I mean to say? You do have mm. a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. I presume. Ah, mm. Mm, I do. You do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful, however, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. <laughs> oh, no kidding, what kind of slime? Uh, well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, yeah. hey, uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask, what to say, mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. there, there's slime in there. God, oh, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's <laughs> great, great. Oh, awesome, what kind is this? Uh, what? Oh! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> this is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look at really it. It's like that and bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey. It's bleak. Yeah. <laughs> How long? Uh, uh, it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So, do you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, 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 that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! <laughs> I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Fiscus! Oh, you're welcome, it's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you can keep those! <laughs> wow, thanks! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye! Bye, Bye, see ya! Oh, oh, oh. Hope you can oh. see me! <laughs> Uh, so, what, what happens, happens next? Uh, it's, it's Bible Story Time with Kevin! Hey guys! Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know. Seems pretty normal to me. Yeah, all right. Well, I was going to ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy... Oh, we're, we're good. good. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change. 
Spare some change for a poor man? I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's oh. the problem. Oh, you can now. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Uh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. I can walk. Look at that. I can also jump. Whoa. And, uh, uh, and I can, I can dance. I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus. You're the best. Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go Jesus, go Jesus. Go Jesus, go Jesus. I'm gonna never stop dancing. Whoa! The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen, when you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never... Never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished, though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out! Get out! The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh, yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Step. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John, go! Woo! Right back at me! The end. You guys, take a bow. Great story. My pleasure. Good job, John. Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Uh... Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you? Uh, oh. I mean, why? Uh, Tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean? Yeah. Reveal, reveal the, the question. question. How are we supposed to, I, I mean, I mean, we can't say that without the, ew, ew. I know. Oh, wait, I've got it. What? 
What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough or smart enough or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Oh, okay.